It is unbecoming that right honorable Bajabi Amila, who has been one of the greatest beneficiary of our democracy, could be the one machinating to sabotage the institution that defines him in Nigerian politics. Had usurpers dictated the composition of the leadership of the Ninth National Assembly, he certainly would not occupy the position of the speaker today and will consequently not have the clout to attempt imposing a leadership on the National Assembly. This move becomes even more abhorrent with the realization that Right Honorable Bajabi Amila is on his way to becoming part of the executive in one form or the other. He has been tipped as a potential chief of staff to the incoming presi president, Asiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. The implication of his coronating the leadership of the National Assembly while assuming an executive position is that he will erase the separation of power between the executive and the legislature and the creation of a rubber stamp parliament. A rubber stamp National Assembly is precisely what the country does not need, currently bearing in mind the extent of reform-oriented legislation and oversight that is needed in the months and years ahead. Nigeria need a parliament that they can hold accountable and not one that answers to a kingmaker in the person of Right Honorable Bajabia Mila. On this note, we call on men of good conscience with the APC and continuous Nigerians, including those in the opposition, to rise up in defense of Nigerians. They, they should come out and add their voices to the demand that the members and senators elect should be allowed the independence granted by the principles of separation of power to decide on the leadership of the 10th National Assembly. The coalition of pro-democracy CSOs further calls on Nigerians and the international community to start watching the APC, particularly Right Honorable Femi Bajamia Miller over his anti-democratic moves. The party should be informed in clear terms that its partisan interest, interest should be escalated for sabotaging our democracy. Finally, we reject the so-called zoning template released by the APC and WC as null and of no consequence while urging the senators and members elect to do the same and vote for parliamentary leaders that will be useful in attaining the promises they made to their electorates. We will wish for the proclamation of the 10th National Assembly and its inaugural sessions to be free of the occupation and protest of Nigerians that are resolute in defending our democracy. But protest seat in an occupation of the National Assembly will be the order of the day if the APC and Right Honorable Bajabmi Amila persist in coronating leaders for the National Assembly. Thank you, and God bless you all. Honorable Dauda Yakubu, convener.